guys, it's Christina Marie here, and I'm here with the February edition of the Lore Beauty Box. If you are new to my channel, I do do beauty box reviews, tutorials, unboxings, and the occasional giveaway. Speaking of giveaways, when this channel hits 100 subscribers, we will be giving away free beauty products, so stay tuned for that. If you are new to the Lore Beauty Box, it is a $15 a month beauty subscription box. It does have free delivery on that. There's usually between $50 and $90 worth of product in here. It um, has a full size and deluxe size sample, so I can't wait to dive into this box. Let's get started. So when you first open the box, it kind of looks like this. It says a Lore Beauty Box on here with this black pouch here. I love that Allure switched to these pouches instead of like a big, big red box. Um, I usually carry a tote bag with me for a purse, and these are great to put, um, reuse them and put all sorts of different items in it, from makeup to toiletries to whatever you want in there to hold. So here's what it kind of looks like. And then on the inside, Allure always has the most beautiful girls on the front. Look at these eyes. They are so stunning. So first we have kind of a um, card here that says a $25 gift and from Gorjana. And offer valid through December 31st of this year, available on full size price items. When used per customer, restrictions may apply. So I'm sure most of their items are probably more than $25, but kind of interesting to check that out. So the first beauty product I'm pulling out of here is the Mama Made Flower Lab Essence Masks. I do know that this brand is cruelty free. Let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to mention if, if products are cruelty free or not? So this one is, uh, they kind of do a little write-up in the little magazine about each one. And what this one here says is using one of the K-Beauty sheets made her skin feel like she just poured an entire bottle of serum on their face. Super hiding. Mamad sheet masks come in seven varieties, in which you got one in our box, and each is infused with nourishing botanical extracts and moisturizing hologranic acid and glycerin, which are essential now that the temps are dropping fast. The sheet mask itself is made from a eucalyptic pulp, which adheres well to the skin. Her favorite way to use one of these masks is after stepping into her apartment on a cold night, once I'm warm and cozy inside, I smooth on a much needed moisture. The scents are delicate and prettier than the average sheet mask. The rose mask, for example, smells like her favorite rose perfume. And this one is the rose mask. And there are, there's a ton of serum. And I love when uh, sheet masks have a ton of serum on them because you can you know, put the extra on your neck and your decolletage, and they they stick better, at least to my face. When products don't have a lot of serum in it, they don't stick as well, they don't work as well, in my opinion. So I am doing a masking video, if you haven't already checked those out, I'll put a couple of the links below of the ones that I've already done, and I will definitely be doing this one in an upcoming video. This does retail for $3. Next we have, by the same brand, it is the Meme Petal Spa Oil to Foam Cleanser, and um, a full size of this, this is only the sample size, so a full size of this retails for $21. And what the little write-up said about this is that the face never feels cleaner without any tightness than after I double cleanse a popular cake beauty technique that involves using two face washes. Moments formula condenses the process into one step. It starts as an oil, then with water, transforms into a foam. It dissolves by foundation mascara and eyeliner quickly. She swears it looks like it hadn't worn any makeup to begin with, and mind you, she wears a lot of makeup. The formula is spiked with damask rose oil, which gives the cleanser a delicate and elegant floral scent. Sometimes floral scents can kind of um, bother me a little bit. This one is really light. It's really pretty. Ooh, I really like that one. And so what I'm going to be doing in my next video is I'm going to be trying on um, the products from that we got here in the box. I'm also going to try this one out and show it live on the video as well because I like to know if 
you know, the face wash, especially if it gets off the makeup. I use the Clinique um, makeup, um, it's their oil balm as well, but I do that as a two-step. So I'll do that and then I'll wash my face. So it'll be interesting to see how this one compares. So stay tuned for that. The next item is this liquid lipstick by Molly. And you had your choice here. They didn't get your choice. They had three different options between the La Ritzy Cosmetic Lip Pencil and Bear, the Dossier Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen, or a Molly Shine Liquid Lipstick. And it basically says that this liquid lipstick by makeup artist Molly Ronakai, I don't know if I pronounced that right, I'm sorry if I didn't, is rich and creamy and glossy. It covers lips in a luxe shiny color. It looks more like a highly pigmented gloss than a traditional liquid lipstick, which means you don't have to be as precise as you put it on. Sometimes I struggle that with the liquid lipsticks. Um, you'll get one of five shades in your box. They range from pink to burgundy. I would have to say that this is probably more on the higher end burgundy side, but they all have one thing in common. They're really good at making your lips appear fuller and sexier. So we'll be using this in my next video where we try these products on, but I'm just going to, ooh, you guys, look at the wand here. It is so messed up. Can you see that? Look how sprayed the, these bottom brushes are. Uh, I'm not quite liking that. It's going to be harder to put on with this. Anyway, let's kind of just um, put it on here. Yeah, it's definitely that burgundy color. And here's what it looks like. And this retails for $21. So the next product in here is by the Brow Gel. It is their Instant Tinted Brow Gel. And it is in the shade... Brown hair, I have used this before, I really love it. The wand itself is super small, but because I have such dark eyebrows, I wear the dark brown shade, so I'm not gonna open this so I can um, save this for one of my friends who has lighter hair. Anyway, this re is a full-size product, does retail for $22, and what it says here is when I'm looking for a touch more polish than swinging on mascara and lip balm, a brow gel is just the speedy ticket. And because this formula from brow groomer extraordinaire Tanya Crooks is subtle, I know I'll enter, never end up with an angry apostrophe brows, no matter how rushed I'm in. It's also effective enough that I don't have to go back in with a pencil later. And I use brow gel most of the time on my brows. I hardly ever use a brow pencil. Anyway, the formula's teeny microfibers are lightweight, so this doesn't have the crunch some other brow gels leave behind. It's perfect for my minimalist makeup kit, though I use it on the go so often. I'm bound to leave it in the next taxi one day. So here's this product. Next we have, ooh, this pretty eye brush. It is from Moto. It's a metallic tiered eye brush. Just kind of open it here. It does, oh, it only retails for $4.99. I love how that Allure is one of the ones that I've noticed. Doesn't inflate the prices on their little sheets to make you think, oh, I'm getting a ton of super high value stuff when maybe it's not that way. Pretty is this gold little ripped handle. I do like, can you see it here? It's kind of tiered. I do like that, especially for kind of getting into the crease in the inner corners. So what this one says, it is a soft, precise shading brush. It's a holy grail of eyeshadow brushes. It does so many different things well. It makes my shadow look as it's mostly vibrant. So one colleague uses it with pastels and brights. It's also perfect for contouring. Use it to sweep a brown shadow across your crease or over the outer third of your lid to give it your eye and makeup look at a depth. She favorite way to use it is for brushing my everyday taupe over my lids. It makes my brown shades richer and creates a sexy smoked out effect. So our next product is from Water Beauty. 
It is the Mile High Club Mascara. Retails for $26. Let's open this up. Ooh, this wand I'm really digging because I love how the wand is smaller enough to get at those roots and also really get at the inner eye really well. So we'll definitely be trying this out in the upcoming try-on video with these. And what it says here is, I don't know if I mentioned it, the retail price is $26. So it says, I have mascara in every purse, multiples at my desk, more than for my vanity at any given time. I like my lashes long and thick enough to cast shadows. And as someone who goes to town with mascara, I can tell you this brand new ultra black option from Wander Beauty layers and layers without clumps, which I love. And gives your lashes lots of drama, lift, cheek, volume, definitely length upon almost to my brow bone. The brush is the perfect size to really get at your roots and lashes that coats every hair. It comes in a squeezable tube so you can get every last bit of your product. Just don't pitch the tube with the brush inside. You don't want to ruin your brush. It doesn't smudge or flake on a full work day or gym session. When I was having some contact lens issues, it even withstood a few artificial tears. So I can't wait to try this one out. So our last product is by Model Co. I haven't tried anything out from them before. It is their Metallic Eyeshadow Trio in Mykonos. It is retails for $15. And I do know that Model Co. is a cruelty-free company. So I'm just kind of opening the box here. Ooh, how pretty is this, you guys? So I usually go for fuller palettes, but I'm wanting to try um, more single shadows and more of uh, the smaller as well. I do wish, because all of three of these metallic, I do almost wish that these two were mattes and then leave this one as your metallic. I think that would make almost a full eye look you could do with that. So let's swatch these. So this is kind of that peach one. Here's what it looks like on the finger. And there's what it looks like kind of on the back of the hand. Remember, this one is a lipstick, so it's this color here. And next we have that brown metallic. Here's kind of what it looks like on the finger. And there's what it looks like on the back of the hand. And then lastly, we have that red metallic. Ooh, that's really pretty. I really like that. Here's what it looks like on the finger. And then here's what it looks like on the back of the hand. So what this says about this one, um, I don't know if I mentioned it, does retail for $15. Each of the powder eyeshadows in this trio, burgundy, pinky, champagne, and brown, create a sheer wash of glittering color, which makes them perfect everyday shimmers. The brown just so happens to be a great nude on our list, and the burgundy is easy to wear because it's not too pigmented. The colors are pretty on their own, but I also like using this champagne as a highlighter to give a burgundy or brown lids an extra splash of dimension. Tap it on the center of the lids and the inner corners. For an intense color payoff, spray your brush with a little water first. I always use these with a wet brush. Try using the Moto brush that's in your box uh, because it's a darker skin because she, the girl who's writing this, is darker skinned individual. She needs extra pigmentation on her shadows. So we'll definitely be using this in our next video. So I think, um, let's do a little recap here. Favorite two products, I'm going to go with the Wander Beauty High Mile um, Club Mascara. I think. This is going to be awesome. If it's anything like their other one, I can't wait to try this out. And I really like um, the three shades here in the Model Co. eyeshadows. I would say my least two favorite are probably going to be this brow gel just because it's going to be too light for me. And then the Molly lipstick, it's super dark. And the brush was, remember, all sorts of messed up. So, but we will be giving it a try on and give it a fair shake in our try on video. 
So if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It really means a lot to me when you do and hit that notification bell so you know when our next video will be posted. As always, you guys have a beautiful day and I will see you soon. Bye.